everyone, David here. Now, recently, well, okay, not so recently, maybe a few months ago, I installed Windows 8 on my laptop here. So, uh, this is Windows 8 with this nice Windows 8 start menu. And basically, what's been happening is that every time I put the computer to sleep and then wake it up again, or I put it to hibernate and then wake it up again, or even if I just shut it down with fast startup enabled, um, and then start it up again. I would get a blue screen that looked like this, um, with the exception that instead of saying DPC watchdog violation, it actually said uh, attempted switch from DPC. So I'd be I'd be getting this blue screen of death every time um, we every time the system tried to do some kind of resume. And um, for those of you who don't know what fast startup is, basically in Windows 8, uh, by default there's this setting turned on. If you go to power options and then and choose choose what closing the lid does down here there's a setting called turn on fast startup and it's enabled by default and what it does is when you shut the PC down it actually uh, saves things like the kernel session to the hibernation file uh, and then when you start your computer again it simply uh, reloads the kernel session from the hibernation file rather than uh, rather than restarting the whole kernel yeah uh, which shaves a few seconds off the startup process which can uh, make Windows 8 seem to start up a little faster and that is a good thing I, I like to be able to get on the internet a few seconds more quickly now um, so it, it, this whole thing is useless though if uh, if I keep getting a blue screen whenever I do some kind of system resume right so um, I ended up turning that option if I ended up turning fast startup off um, however, recently I discovered that, uh, see I have, this laptop is an Acer laptop, it's the Acer Aspire 5100, it came with Windows Vista on it, I know, it's a really old laptop, it's six years old I believe, and it came with a, it came with an E&E &E card reader in the side, so um, here's my device manager, it came with this ECI, E&E uh, &E PCI memory stick card reader controller, it was basically a, I think, five in one card reader, that um, appears as three devices, three separate devices to the operating system. And these drivers um, worked fine with Windows Vista, you know, it was all the 2007 era. These drivers were written in 2007. Uh, Windows Vista came out uh, right around 2006 and 2007. So, you know, Windows Vista could sleep hibernate, uh, it could sleep and hibernate just fine without any blue screens. Um, now, uh, I, I know it, I, I skipped Windows Vista on here. No, sorry. I skipped Windows 7 on here. And you might think, what? You use Windows Vista and then Windows, Windows 8? Well, yeah, I uh, kind of skipped Windows 7. I never had the chance to get Windows 7 on here. But now I have Windows 8 on here. And what's happening is that these drivers, even though I've updated them to 64-bit, um, just aren't working with Windows anymore. Uh, Windows 8 is pretty new. Uh, it's like a, like a 2013 thing or 2012, 2013, right around there, whereas these drivers are from 2007. I mean, that's kind of old. It's like a five-year difference. And what's happening is that these drivers, whenever I try to resume some uh, resume my session on this computer, it's causing the blue screen. So what I found is that if I come here and just choose Disable, I've disabled these devices. Um, you know, you right-click and choose Disable. So right now it says Enable because I've already disabled these devices. I can sleep and hibernate the computer just fine. I've yet to try fast startup, but I suspect that it would work as well. So great, if I just disable the card reader, I can sleep and hibernate. Or, or, or rather, my computer can sleep and hibernate. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, what if I want to use the card reader, though? Well. Like say I have an SD card, well, I'm gonna have to come to, what I'd have to do is I'd have to like uh, go to computer, right click it, choose manage, and then um, uh, basically, but I would have to come over here and then I'd have to wait for this to open and come to device manager, or I could just jump to the device manager, come here, find the SD card, secure digital, that's SD and then choose enable and then I would be able to read it 
Um, however, it, it would be faster if I could just put like a uh, icon on my desktop to enable uh, or disable these devices, right? Well, for that I kind of have I kind of would have to write a command line uh, command to enable and disable these devices. Now, I think that Microsoft does have a tool for that. Actually, it's like DevCon and it's like in some SDK somewhere, but I don't really remember. Well, um, Nearsoft here uh, also uh, has a utility, a little utility called um, uh, DevMan View, and it's an alternative to the device manager of Windows. So um, I have downloaded that and installed it over here. So if I just uh, open this, um, you'll see that it's all, all my system devices base uh, appear but in table form and this kinda can be uh, easier to read sometimes so here are my three uh, devices here and I know what you're thinking this is still not a command line but here's the thing this program has command line options as uh, you can see down here um, there are command line options here command line options but then there are also these command line options to disable and enable these devices and basically what I can do is uh, let me just open my command uh, open a command prompt here so let's see uh, run as administrator and okay uh, let's see I'm gonna just uh, switch to this directory okay there we go now um, it is devmanview.exe. What I can do here is, uh, well, first I actually, I lied, I need the device instance ID. I'm gonna, I, I haven't, I hadn't done this prior to, um, trying this out, so let's see, uh, I'm gonna right click here, choose copy. Notepad. I just want the device instance, the device ID string, just right here, right here. Just gonna, just gonna copy that. Alrighty. Over here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose. Let me take a look at my command line reference. Just disable, and then I'm gonna choose uh, dev man view, and then uh, enable. Click, choose paste that one already. What happens? I'm gonna watch the command. I'm gonna watch this. There's the device over there, and also over here is the device over here. So we have here and here. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna press enter. See what happens. The device should enable. I hope might have enabled. Why don't we... Hmm. Yep, it's been enabled. If I right click, you can see it says disabled now, which means it's been, the device has been enabled. And look, even over here, it auto-refreshed, I guess, so, um, yeah, it's enabled. Now, if I want to disable it again, I just, uh, right click over, I just come over here, change enable to disable, and let's try this again the window focus in but there we go it's been disabled and over here oh there's the red X it's been disabled alrighty so what does this mean well this means that I can write a little batch file if you don't know what that is well uh, it's basically a uh, com command prompt script I think sort of thingy yeah um, it basically allows you to do one uh, to like string command prompt commands together I guess alright so let me just isolate these uh, okay alrighty now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose I'm just gonna write what we wanna do we're, we're gonna write it enable script first so dev man v 
view enable whoops now I'm gonna just put that at the beginning of all of these I need to put the quote at the end there I'm gonna save this I'm gonna save this as a little batch file so I'm gonna go to my user folder and I've been putting all these in my apps folder so I'm just gonna do um, ena enable card reader write dot and we can choose dot bat save it as a batch file enable card reader dot bat and now what and um, assuming that this works um, in fact, I'm, let me just add a pause command at the end here. Assuming that that works, what I can do is just uh, double click on this. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. And it just went through all those commands, and basically, I, it should they should be enabled now, so let me take a look at my computer management and look they're enabled so now what if I uh, um, I, I just need to create a separate one of these and just need to change that to disabled right uh, no not disabled just disable right and if I just change that I'll choose file save as and I can change it to uh disable card reader there we go dot bat and now I have now if I want to I can uh, yeah uh, I, I actually need to choose run as administrator yes and there we go uh, these are ooh what happened here not recognize an internal or external command oh Done this prior to recording this, so um, let me just uh, run it in the current directory. So uh, here we go. There's one, uh, there are two, and uh, there are three. There we go. Now in computer management, they're all disabled. You can see they're all disabled, right? They say enabled now, so they're disabled. All right, let me close out of here and uh, out of out of dev, out of the graphical interface of devman view and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna just ooh, ever seen this trick in Windows 8 and Windows 7 Sh shake one window to make all the other ones disappear there we go you gotta shake it hard enough so if I have the command prompt open and the command prompt and Google Chrome well I want to make those two disappear I just shake this and they disappear did you see that nice now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create shortcuts for these on my desktop. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hold in my right click mouse button and a right mouse button and drag it. And I create this kind of way. Uh, this uh, drag context menu here. I'm gonna choose create shortcut. Create shortcut. Alrighty. Now um, I'm gonna choose properties here. There's several things that you want to do. Start in. That's correct. Uh, however, I'm just going to give it a nicer looking name. Enable card reader and, uh, yep. Okay. Um, just got to, whenever you do this, you got to make sure the start and location is correct. So here we go. Yeah, um, basically the start in location should be set to the f folder that contains devmanview.exe. Alrighty then. Okay. Maybe hit OK. And there we go. The reason they move over there by themselves, I'm just going to drag them back over here. Uh, I can close.
close out of this administrative command prompt now. Uh, yes, I can close this as well. Um, so, let's see. If I want to disable my card reader, I run that. And there's one. There's two. And there's three. Alrighty, press any key to continue. Alright, so, now that they've been disabled, let's take a look at the device manager again. And look, they've been disabled, and I can put my computer to sleep. Alrighty, no more of this nonsense right here with the uh, uh, blue screen, I think. Yeah, this is, um, ah, yeah. Enable and disable my card readers, uh, or just my card reader from the desktop. Just enable it when I need it, disable it when I don't need it, and then I can uh, sleep my computer now. I, um, I mean, obviously, it'd be cool if they if the manufacturer updated the drivers to work with Windows 8, but I, I don't think that's actually going to happen. So yeah, okay, and I don't really use that card reader that much, all, that very often anyway. So, yep. There we go. I now have um, card reader enable and disable, and I can do that from a little shortcut. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, this I know this video probably didn't really show you how to do anything, but um, hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching.